Hello, welcome to this tutorial on how to trade NFTs on Metamira. In this tutorial, we will cover the following topics. The relationship between Metamira and the Oasis protocol, setting up to trade NFTs on Metamira, buying and selling NFTs on Metamira, and finally, how to participate in a minting event of an NFT collection on Metamira. So let's begin. What is Oasis Protocol and what does it have to do with Metamira? Oasis Protocol is a layer one blockchain that is popularly known to be privacy preserving and scalable. These features make the Oasis Protocol the perfect blockchain for Metamira to operate on. Metamira is the first NFT marketplace on the Oasis network. It brings perks like low gas fees, next generation digital identity, and a unique Web3 experience for all users to enjoy. So how can we get started with Metamira? First, let's learn how to trade NFTs on the platform. To do that, we would need a Metamask wallet, the Emerald Paratime network configuration for Metamask, and Rose tokens to buy NFTs and cover gas fees. The Metamask wallet can be downloaded as an app on your mobile device, or as a browser extension from metamask.io. Once your wallet is fully set up, you need to add the Emerald Paratime network configuration to Metamask. The Emerald Paratime is an EVM compatible environment for interacting with EVM based dApps and platforms like Metamira. We will need to be on Emerald to interact with Metamira. Now, at this point in the video, the process of configuring Emerald on both mobile and web versions of MetaMask will be displayed side by side on the screen with written instructions to follow. So take a moment to follow these instructions that apply to your device and feel free to pause, rewind or slow down the video to observe again. Once Metamira is properly configured to Emerald, we would need to deposit ROSE tokens to that wallet. These tokens will be used to purchase the NFTs and cover gas fees. To go about this, we would need to bridge ROSE tokens from the consensus layer to the Emerald Paratime. We will not be able to transfer ROSE tokens from centralized exchanges like Binance or KuCoin to the Emerald wallet because those exchanges only support ROSE transfers on the consensus layer. If you're wondering what the consensus layer is and how it differs from Emerald, the consensus layer is the base layer of the Oasis protocol where you and I interact every day. Things like staking and token transfers from exchanges all take place on the consensus layer. The Emerald paradigm is for EVM-based applications like development of dApps and doing other things like buying and selling NFTs on Metamira. Take note of that, it will be useful as you continue to explore the protocol and its sister applications. So how do we bridge ROSE tokens to Emerald? Here's a quick step-by-step -step guide. Step one, download the Oasis wallet extension on your browser and create a new Oasis wallet or import an already existing one. You would need to have your private key or a mnemonic phrase to import an existing wallet. And if you are creating a new wallet, ensure to keep the mnemonic phrase given to you very securely. Once your wallet is open, you should have access to your wallet address, which looks like this. Step two, 
transfer rose tokens from an exchange like binance or kucoin to the oasis wallet address note that the network to use for this transfer is oasis protocol step three once your wallet is loaded with tokens click on the paratimes tab and then click to paratime under the emerald section step four Copy the emerald address on MetaMask and paste it in the address tab on your Oasis wallet. Step 5. Select an amount of rose tokens you'd like to bridge, click next and confirm the transaction. Once the transaction is complete, you should be able to see rose tokens on your MetaMask wallet and that means bridging was successful. Now that we have rose tokens in our wallet, we can head over to metamirror.space and connect our wallet. To see all the NFTs available on Metamirror, we just have to click Gallery. The gallery lets us explore all the amazing NFT artwork all listed on the Oasis network. We can see what NFTs are new, upcoming NFTs, or NFTs that are currently trending on the platform. We can also search for a collection manually if we are particularly interested in any. For the purpose of this video, we will be trading the Oasis Apes NFTs. Let's click that and now we can see all the NFTs available under this collection. So let's sort the collection by lowest price and attempt to buy the cheapest ape we can find. Hover over the NFT and click it to get more details about the NFT. Now we can see the NFT in a larger resolution, the price it currently goes for, a brief description about the asset, some extra details and properties, and even its entire transaction history since it was listed. We can either choose to buy the NFT straight away for the current buy price, or we can choose to make a bid for a different price and see if the owner would be willing to take our offer. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we will go ahead and buy the NFT immediately. So let's click buy now, accept the terms and conditions and click checkout. Once we confirm the transaction in our MetaMask wallet, the transaction will be successful and we would have bought the NFT, which would be visible on our profile. So if we wanted to sell the NFT, we just need to head over to profile, hover over the NFT and click sell. MetaMirror allows selling in two ways, either by selling the NFT at a fixed price or by opening an auction for people to make custom offers. If we were to go with fixed price selling, all we need to do is to set the price we'd like to sell the NFT for and set an expiration date for the trade. We can then review the transaction fees, agree to the terms and click complete listing. Once we confirm the transaction in our MetaMask, our NFT will now be available on the public market for sale. This method of selling will not give people the option to make bids or negotiate the price of the NFT, but they'd have to buy it at the stated price. If we were to go with auction selling, we would need to set a starting price, which is the lowest price that buyers can start bidding from. We would also need to set an expiration date for the trade and a percentage bid increment. This means that if the current bid for our NFT is $100, the next permissible bid would be a 3% increase from the old bid. We can also set a buy now price, which must be higher than the auction starting price, and that would allow someone buy the NFT immediately and bypass the bidding process to get the NFT bought at a higher cost. Review the fees and the terms and click complete listing. Once we confirm the transaction in our wallet, our NFT will be available for sale on the public market. For the final part of this tutorial, we will be looking at how to participate in an NFT minting event. First, let's understand what it means to mint an NFT. Minting is the process of uploading data, digital files or assets to the blockchain where it can serve unique purposes like being an in-game character in GameFi, serving as proof of ownership of a real-world product 
without having to use documents or simply being available for trading on NFT marketplaces. Since it is on the blockchain, it cannot be modified or forged, and that makes NFTs a very useful technological innovation. So, when we participate in a minting event, we are simply paying for the ownership of a digitized asset as it enters the blockchain. So there's two basic types of mints, public and private. A private mint is usually available to only whitelisted users. These are people who will be privileged to mint the NFT earlier and at a cheaper price than when it will be available for the public. People can be whitelisted for being early supporters of the project or contributing productively to the project's success. They get to mint at a cheaper price and not suffer heavy transaction fees for popular NFT projects on more congested blockchains like Ethereum. The public mint, on the other hand, is the same thing, but available to the entire public. On MetaMirror, we can find projects with upcoming mints in the gallery page. Clicking any of these will redirect us to the official projects page where we can get more information about the upcoming mint. For the purpose of this tutorial, Sabar NFT offered a whitelist position so we can learn how private minting works on MetaMirror. We will use Sabar as our case study for the entire minting tutorial. Thanks to Sabar NFT for supporting the Oasis protocol and being a stepping stone to helping users understand the protocol and its underlying platforms. So let's continue. Clicking on any of the upcoming projects will take us to the official page of the project where we can join its communities like Discord or Telegram to ask questions, meet people, gain information about the Mint and potentially earn a whitelist spot. You can see all the necessary details of the Sabara NFT Mint pinned on the Discord channel. The mint date, mint link, whitelist check, and more. So let's confirm our whitelist spot by clicking on this link. We will arrive on a special MetaMirror page dedicated to the Sabara Mint. Let's go ahead and connect our whitelisted wallet and confirm. We can see that we do have the whitelist spot. Being whitelisted allows us to mint the Sabara NFT for 499 rose tokens while the public will have to mint it for 599 tokens. We are allowed to mint a maximum of three NFTs to ration a sizable portion for the public. We only have a few hours for the mint to start, so let's check back in a moment. It is now officially time for the whitelist mint. Our wallet is already connected and we have previously deposited enough rose tokens to mint all three NFTs to our wallet. So, we can see that we can mint 3 NFTs and there is a total of 721 available to all whitelisted wallets. So very simply, let's type in the number of NFTs we would like to mint and click Mint. This transaction will require confirmation in our wallet and once that is done, we have successfully minted 3 Sabara NFTs on MetaMirror. We can easily see our minted NFTs on our profile if we head back to the MetaMirror website. Currently, the NFT details are hidden onto the review date, after which we can see our NFTs and if we like, sell them for a profit or hold them for its utility and value. The public sale is no different. The public mint allows us to mint as many NFTs as we'd like and we'd only have to pay more for the NFTs. So this brings us to the end of this tutorial. We've been able to understand how to buy and sell NFTs on MetaMirror and how to participate in minting events for upcoming projects. We also learned some technicalities about minting, NFTs, paradigm layers on Oasis, and the relationship between MetaMirror Marketplace and the Oasis protocol. I hope this tutorial was very helpful. See you soon.